Hi, this is Isaac from Compositional IT. So far, I've installed .NET Core and created a basic f -sharp application. If you recall, thus far, I've used Notepad to work with f -sharp. So in this video, I'm going to install an Integrated Development Environment, or IDE, which will make things easier for developing real f -sharp applications. I'm going to start by searching for Visual Studio Code, a free IDE that supports f -sharp. I'm going to click the Download Visual Studio Code link and then download the Windows version. Once it's installed and running, I'm going to open the folder that contains the Hello World application I created last time. If you're coming from the .NET framework, notice here that there's no solution file. VS Code works just fine with folders that contain projects. So here's the programfs file from last time. It already has some basic coloration shown, and the file in the Explorer pane is also shown with the f -sharp logo. Unfortunately, there's no tooltips, compiler support, or useful IntelliSense here. In order to make things a little bit better, I'm going to install the Ionide extension, a free open source extension to VS Code that enables much better f -sharp support. Note that the very first time you install this extension, you might need to wait a minute or so until it's properly initialized. Ionide has now been installed. The first thing you can see is a new f -sharp node in the Explorer pane, which shows us, among other things, a logical view of our project. This is certainly useful in larger projects and solutions. Ionide also gives us a code lens, which shows us the inferred types for values. For example, the main function takes in an array of strings and returns an int. This is an extremely useful educational tool when learning f -sharp, as you can use it to understand how the f -sharp type inference system behaves. I also start to receive tooltips when hovering over keywords, functions, and other values, as well as member IntelliSense when I dot into a value. That's the end of this screencast. There's lots more that Ionide gives you, and I'd encourage you to read up on it to fully take advantage of what it offers. Next time, we're going to explore how to run and debug applications directly from Visual Studio Code. Thanks for watching.